Hey there, Boots Owen here. I'm testing this Solar River inverter that I repaired yesterday. It says reconnect in 19 seconds. I'll twist the screen around to do your head in. Reconnect in 35 seconds. Uh, there's not enough sun, so it's going to keep clocking up. So it might, it might come on or it might not. And if it does, this video will be worth making. Down here on the board are two relays. And this machine had a relay fault, so when it came on, it would initialize and then it would say relay fault. And relay fault means the relays are gone. And in this one, there are these two clear topped ones. And just by coincidence, I must have scrapped out one of these in the past or a similar one. And I had the exact relays salvaged from another machine. I had four relays, but when I took them apart, inside. Oh, I read perfect timing. So there's the initializing state and it's got 9.8 watts on it but 9.8 9.7 isn't enough so it'll turn off again and this was a tricky one to do because there's a bit of taking apart in it so you take the blue cover off the top there's this is a different one beneath it but it's effectively similar there's six screws three on each side and then you lift off the blue cover and then there's another screw two screws in here they hold on this panel here for this board and you obviously have it all disconnected when you're doing this so it's gone back to zero and it'll reconnect so i get to see that relay again take off as many clips and things as you can take photos if you want if you don't remember how to put it back together so then there's three screws on this one and then you pop this board away and then there's a tower beneath it this brass leg there you have to unscrew that then unscrew the cables on the power side then unclip the cables here going over to these guys i don't know what they do they're like chokes or something like that some kind of transformer coils maybe i don't know then unscrew the covers for these fets in here there's three covers six fets in there take them take the covers off and then take off all of the screws on the board there's loads of them maybe 12 or something like that then you have to break the seal on the fets to the heat sink you got to get a screwdriver or something and kind of clip them off without breaking the legs on them. Oh, I missed it again. It's back on. It'll turn off again. It just needs to get enough sun. It's early in the morning. It hasn't really started yet. So break off the fets and then the board should come off. Turn it over and you'll be able to see the back. And there's six pins on each of these relays. They're double relays. You can see you can't really yeah you can just there there's two two copper tabs on each side so it's gone into yeah it's just it's just released there maybe we saw that on the camera did we i don't know i'll go back the other way now so do your head in seeing the camera turning and in 33 seconds it should come back on again so Scrape off any of the paint or varnish that's on the back of the board. Get a really hot soldering iron because it seems to use very high melting point solder. Mix in some other solder, then desolder it. Then they should come off. It took a lot of prising with a screwdriver and heating to get them off. Put the new ones back in. If you have brand new ones, you know they work, but the ones that wear on it had brown staining. There, you just saw that one on the right clicking. I ran off to get the relays. So these were in it, and you can see there, it's kind of a brown haze there. That, that's pretty bad there. So if you can imagine that, that's upside down now, but that brown fog there, this one maybe isn't as bad. But you can see some brown on it. Now, if you wanted, you could They've just disengaged again. If you wanted, you could clip the lids off and clean them, I guess. And that might get them going. Usually only one relay goes bad, but it brings everything else out. So the coil energizes and magnetizes this metal strip here and pulls it over to the side. Yeah, but you can see it's burnt there and let off a haze of something oh and there's the the numbers on the relays there scl-1-h-dpno 12 volt dc 
And there you go, a 15 amp breaker activated by 12 volts. So it's an AC side relay, I would say. It should go again in a few seconds, so I'll, I'll watch it and try and catch it one more time. That's it, it's doing 11 watts. It won't really work until it's over 30 watts or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but it's working fine. It just hasn't got enough sun. You see the other inverter there has waiting sun on it because it hasn't got enough to kick off today. Yeah, it's gone back to waiting, reconnect. So that's this Solar River. I don't know what model it is. Let's have a look actually, you can probably see it here. Samuel Power, and there you can see what's on that. I can't read it from here. And the specs on the other side. But it's, uh, it's working again, and that's the main thing. So if you want to see the soldering, have a look at my other videos on that in the solar playlist. I've done some on ABBs and Auroras and Solaces. Fixing the relays. They're different relays, but the logic is the same. Take them off, put them back in. Don't touch anything else, and then put the whole board back on and close it up again. Or don't close it up again. Like, if you touch that terminal there, you'll get a shock because it's 240 volts AC. And if you touch the DC side, well, that's probably quite light, actually, at the right now. I'm not going to touch it, however. The other thing I did was I put a bit of heat compound, heat transfer compound underneath the FETs there. You can see some of it sticking out because what was there was very dry, and I thought that could only help. So I did that, too. So have a look at the playlist. Have a look at Andy Reynolds' book, Wind and Solar. I might put a link in the description below. I've also put a link to it previously in other videos. Leave any questions or comments below. If this video has been helpful, if this video has been helpful, please leave a comment. Please think about making a donation if this repair has saved you hundreds because the reality is that people are scrapping all of these things. And that's why I've got so many of them because they go in the scrap and they, I've got a mate who gets them from a solar installer who decommissions them and they've replaced them they're replacing them with battery integrated battery systems but i've got a separate battery system so i've got the solar side over here are we clicking again so i've got the solar side separate to the battery the ba they're both linked into the grid but separately if that makes sense on the consumer side of the grid and if you want, have a look at that in other videos in the solar playlist as well. So if it's helpful and you've saved a fortune by not having to get a new inverter and just buying two relays for a tenner, think about leaving a donation below. Leave a comment on how you did it. Um, I haven't posted my soldering because my soldering is atrocious. But it doesn't matter because it works. You just have to do it. Put a bit of solder on it. Good and thick. Just don't bridge the terminals, obviously. And you're away. Leave a comment. Like the video. Think about subscribing or becoming a member of the channel. And most of all, thanks for watching. See you later.